How is the energy between twin flames? When your energies are in a high vibration and aligned, you are open to each other. This is the natural state of the twin flame connection. Why and how energetic vibrations can make or break your twin flame connection. Plus, how to use awareness, mindset and emotions to reunite with your twin. When your energies are in a high, aligned vibration, things flow smoothly. You are open to each other. This is the natural state of the twin flame connection. However, in life, we experience hurt by taking on fear conflict patterns and other negativities. When you and your flame energies are stuck in low vibrations of negativity, the connection is disrupted. Struggle, conflict and separation continue to occur because your energies are pushing against each other. What you feel on a regular basis is an important indication of the energetic vibration you are in and whether you are truly in harmony with the love you desire. There is a solution to every problem. But are you, yourself, taking the actions that your soul continues to show you? Are you headed toward love or away from it? Twin flames, you are one soul in two bodies. If you regularly feel unwell and the connection stops, it's likely that your system is trying to get rid of negativity. But are you actively clearing it up by being honest with yourself about your fears and other blockages, or do you just hope it will go away or blame your twin flame for these difficulties? Remember that the twin flame connection is based on energetic vibrations. When you get rid of negativity or elevate it on your side, the connection begins to change because you are one soul in two bodies. If you keep doing what you've always done, you'll always get the same results. There is a difference between high vibration and low vibration. We live in a universe of energy even if we are not aware that we interact with it all the time. We are constantly sending and receiving energy. Emotions, thoughts and intentions all carry the energy of electromagnetic signals that our body and our being store and which influence the way we feel and react. 1. Low vibration energies like fear, shame, jealousy, resentment and anger are contractive and slow. When our dominant frequency resides in low vibrations, we think that life is difficult and that we must strive for everything. This is where the victim mentality resides. The feelings that life is hard, that it only brings us great challenges, and that others are against us. 2. High vibrational energies, like joy, love, peace, freedom, and forgiveness, are expansive and oscillate rapidly. When our dominant frequency is elevated in high vibrations, we experience life with full joy and pleasure. It's like the universe is supporting us in everything we do. We experience luck and other signs that react positively towards us, and we feel love throughout existence. This is where enlightenment resides. For all twin flames in reunion, love and harmony exist with these high vibrations. When both of the twins' dominant energies are in love frequencies are higher, the two will be mutually attracted to each other in harmony.